I'm here at what they call base camp at the Sea to Sky Gondola in Squamish, British Columbia, Canada. The full ride coming up right here on Blue Bezos Travel. Hey everyone, I'm Tiffany Burns and you're watching my channel BBTV. Today we're on the Sea to Sky Gondola in Squamish, British Columbia, Canada, and we're taking it all the way to the top. After an easy half-hour highway drive from Horseshoe Bay in West Vancouver, we arrive at the Sea to Sky Gondola. The ride starts at what they call Base Camp. It looks like what you'd find at ski hills around the world with upscale West Coast architecture. The brightly colored cabins swing around with a slogan that can't be denied, Adventure by Nature. Looks like they rolled out the red carpet. They must have known I was coming. The gondola cabins are custom made by a Swiss manufacturer and each one fits eight people inside. They're also wheelchair and stroller accessible. The view is spectacular right out of the gate. Snow-capped mountains rise above the waters of Howe Sound. We have an excellent view of the end of the sound, a favorite area for windsurfers and kite surfers with the town of Squamish beyond. But today, the water is as smooth as glass. There's no wind at all, which for us is a good thing, considering we're traveling through the air, relying on a four kilometer long, 20 ton steel cable. We pass the backside of the Stuamish Chief, a mountain mecca for rock climbers. Soon the ground underneath our gondola starts to get really steep. We glide by a sheer rock face and fly over evergreen trees. Suddenly we're seeing snow and a guy in shorts and a t-shirt. But this being the west coast, it doesn't seem that out of place. After all, there wasn't any snow at base camp Soon we have the summit in sight. After our 10 minute ride, we arrive at the top with an elevation of 2,900 feet. Estamos aquí ahora. And then once you get up to the top, the view is incredible. There's even a sign to help you figure out the landmarks you're looking at. Mount Murchison, Mount Lapworth, Mount Fiestes, Mount Cloudburst, Mount Gailey, Mount Fee. Enjoying the view is just the beginning. If you're up for adventure, you have several options. Starting with the Sky Pilot Suspension Bridge. At 100 meters long, it's not that far to the other side, but the drop is thousands of feet. I didn't dare point my camera down, but looking back toward the Summit Lodge, you get the idea. And you might want to hold on to the railings. Next, we hiked the Panorama Trail through Old Growth Forest, with snow crunching underfoot, only to arrive at another jaw-dropping viewpoint. With a wooden platform built especially to admire the site, jutting out over a sheer drop, offering majestic views of the ocean and surrounding mountains. Back at the Summit Lodge, it's warm enough to sit outside with a well-deserved hot chocolate and reflect once more on the magnificent view of the coastal mountains in British Columbia, Canada. The hours vary up here month to month, so make sure you check the website before you come up if you're thinking about coming up to the Sea to the Sky Gondola. I'll post a link below in the description box so it's easy for you. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm Tiffany Burns. See you here next time right here on BBTV.